Hey guys, Jeff Howard here at FixMyKite.com and FixMyWing.com. We've seen a lot of questions that are out there on the internet talking about what I can repair on my wing, um, what should I repair myself, or what should I have a shop do. And I look at some of those questions and I try to answer those. And yes, we are a repair center, but I try to do it truthfully. I want you uh, to get things repaired correctly so that that wing or that investment that you have, the kite or the wing, uh, that they last you a long period of time. So I want to talk a little bit about that and what you can repair and what you shouldn't repair. First off, I want to talk about the loading and the difference between kites and wings. A lot of people don't understand that I tell them that a wing takes a lot more stress on the cloth than a kite does. Why? Well, the reason is, is a kite is loaded through its bridle. So the bridle is spread all the way along the leading edge and comes down and takes that load. So that is the difference. You can make a leading edge of a kite a lot smaller than you can on a wing because of how it's loaded. So it spreads that load across that kite. On wings, that, that's, that can't be done. The reason is all the load comes right down here to the center, to in, into your handles, so that wing wants to flex back and take a lot of load on that leading edge. So to get that stiffness and rigidity that you need in a wing, all wings have to be made a lot fatter or pumped to higher pressures. But most wings, to get that strength, it's not the higher pressures because higher pressures put a lot of load on seams and that's where you get the failures and the blowouts um, on seams. So you've got to try to do something in the wing to uh, counter that, which is making them in a larger diameter. But in larger diameters, the larger that you make it, with the same air pressure as a small one, it loads the seams almost double, which is pretty crazy. We've done some testing back in the day, pumping up wings, seeing out how much pressure they take before the seams blow out. Not just the Dacron cloth that's on the outside, but the load of the seams and how much they can take. So that diameter of a, of a wing, that's what happens to it. So I will talk about some construction techniques of what they've changed in the past year and a half to get those wings last. So I wanna talk about the wing setup. So if a customer calls and they have any questions about it, what, what am I talking about that I want repaired? Well, in a wing, first off, you've got your leading edge. This is your leading edge and this is your strut. <clears throat> the outer coating of this we call the casing. The casing takes all the load. Internally, there is a polyurethane bladder like this. The bladders don't take the load. Um, they, they just simply sit inside and the Dacron seals it and it just fills out on the inside. And that's what gets you your stiffness is the rigidity of pumping that up with that bladder which holds the air. But the outside is called the casing. So if you have any questions and you say my, my casing of my leading edge or the casing of my strut. Um, the other one is the sail. Obviously, it's simply put, this is the sail. You got your trailing edge, your leading edge, your window, um, and then you've got your sail wall in here. Some of them have these sail walls, some of them have the struts that go up against the sail. But those are basically uh, in description. You have your zipper here. This is allowed to put so you can get the bladder inside of it. Um, you've got a one pump system. This is a one pump because it has the hose that link into it. So the air goes back out through the leading edge. On a two pump system, you'll have a valve on the leading edge and then you'll have a valve on the strut. I don't know what's better, it's no big deal. You can get different pressures in each one of them. But those are the descriptions. Uh, you got your flag out handle and your main handles. So if you have any questions like where it blew out at or what um, you need to be done, that's how you do the description. So. When it comes down to fixing things, the big thing I've seen out there on Facebook and some other ones, somebody says, well, I've got a cut, it's in my leading edge and it's about two or three inches. Should I fix this with cell tape? Absolutely not. I gotta tell you the high loads that are on these Dacron casings and the strut and the leading edge are unbelievable. It is a lot of load and if you get a cut like that, that flexing as well as the pressure of the high pressures that are in wings nowadays, a one inch cut, two inch cut uh, done wrong can end up just like this.
a complete blowout. This is probably a little over $200 repair because I got to tell you, repairing wings, because of the stress load that has to be rebuilt into this, because every repair that we do, we back for the life of that wing and the life of that kite. And it matters to us to make sure that that customer gets this wing back. It's gonna perform as it was prior, as it's brand new, and it keeps going. So what's gonna happen? This side will hold, and this side will probably go at some point. That's usually what happens on our repairs. We do them so well, we get them taken care of. So when it comes down to any kind of casing, you definitely wanna get these repaired professionally. Now, a lot of people say, well, what do I do if I'm out somewhere, I don't know, some exotic place having a great time and I get this cut on there? Well, to tell you the truth, if you have some Dacron sticky back, um, not the nylon repair uh, sticky back, but if you can do a one inch cut, depending on where it is, if it's anywhere in this center section, you're, you're pushing your luck because this takes so much of the load. The further out on the tips, the less load. So if you had to do a small repair down in here or something and you're not near a repair center and you have some Dacron sticky back tape, I would reach through that zipper and put the biggest patch I could on the inside and the biggest patch I could put on the outside. But you better make sure that this is completely dry and that that tape is sticking pretty darn decently. If it's not, don't take the chance because that one tiny cut can explode and not only is it just the casing to get repaired, it's the whole blowout of the bladder internally because of the higher pressures that these things are taking and their larger sizes. So, couldn't you do it with cell tape? Good luck with you, I would not do that. These things are worth a lot of money. Don't put the cell tape on there. The last but not least, if you need to repair this, carry some tear aid with you. We hate tear aid in a repair center because it is a nightmare to take off, but if I had to do a repair on here, my dream is I take some good sized chunks of tear aid and I'd stick right over that if I'm out in the middle of nowhere so I can keep riding and I'm gonna have some fun. But for us as a repair center, if we can't get it off, we gotta do a whole little patch panel replacement and take that chunk out of that Dacron. This one has had a repair, kind of hard to see, but let me get a hold of it. So this had a small little cut right here. The leading edge was opened up Dacron was put on the inside, Dacron on the outside, double stitched. This will take the complete load of any material across this leading edge. If it would have been in this double area, we would have done double or triple just to make sure that that load is dispersed because these new type wings in construction, I'm telling you, this is one of the newer ones. You will see that there's segment leading edge, all of them go together to get the shaping. Almost all of them now are coming in with a, some heavy reinforcement internally that you don't even know. This one, you can tell, here's a little uh, swoop of a stitch that you wonder why is that on there? It's because from here to here, this is double Dacron internally. And again, when repairing, that's why it takes so much work to get, repair these things correctly. First off, the closing seam is all the way up in the back here and we gotta get to the front and do all this rebuilding so it can take that flex load that a wing takes and the pump and the hard ride on there and to get that reconstructed. So if you're, if you're doing a Dacron and you have a cut in your Dacron and your strut casing or your leading edge casing, get it done professionally, get it done right so you don't end up with a massive blowout like this. If you recognize the cut, let's fix it. How do you recognize if you should get it fixed? Let's say you scrape it and you see some scrapes on your Dacron and you wonder, is it compromised? Is it something that should be repaired? Here's a piece of Dacron. This is a clean, brand new piece of Dacron. And if you take it and you fold it like this, you can see it stays rounded like that. That's just the natural stiffness of this stuff. If there's a cut in it, so I don't even know if you can see it, I scarred it just a little bit right there, just a hair. So it kind of looks like a scrape and you wouldn't think anything of it. But the truth is this thing is halfway, about halfway compromised. Cause when I fold it along that scratch, it basically just knife blades over and there's no rounded point to that. That is what needs to be repaired. That right there is a nightmare. So you don't think it's anything big, but that's what happens to it. It gets highly loaded and half of that material is there and that's how you tell. So if we get someone to send it in, should I get it repaired? If it folds like that and it's sharp edged, yes. If it stays rounded like this, 
and it takes pressure to get that to go down, you're all good. Those fibers are still there. So that's how you check the background casing of your, uh, of your of casings. Know if you need to get those repaired. Um, when it comes down, the next repair would be your cell cloth. Cell cloth is a lot easier to repair and can take a lot more load. If you're going to repair that, you can use some ripstop tape. If you use ripstop tape, make sure you do it on both sides. Then double check that that repair tape is sticking. There are some of these new materials that are coming out with a coating on them that is so slick, it's not sticking very well. So you then you're going to have to resort to the Dacron sticky tapes. Dacron sticky tape, double check it. Make sure it's sticking good. Clean it with alcohol, let it completely dry, get them stuck together and see if that's going to hold. And then your last resort again, Tear Aid. We hate Tear Aid, but it does hold and it's on there and it's really strong. When it comes into us to do a repair, if there's Tear Aid, in most cases, we will try to remove it. If we can't get it removed, we will actually cut that out and do a panel replacement and get that material out of there. But all in all, when it comes down to repairing wings and taking care of your gear, get it done right. Get it done by a repair center. If they're around you, great. There are a lot of really good repair centers out there. Get it taken care of correctly on wings, definitely on the casing. Sales is not as most important, but when we get them in here and they come in and they're completely trashed and blown out like this because they had a small cut on it and we can usually find where that cut was, when you're hanging onto those handles, pumping all of that load through the strut and through the leading edge, they will blow out a lot faster than a kite will. So don't forget that. Definitely let us know if you have any questions or anything else. I just want to do some descriptions so you guys understand what you can repair, what you should repair. Hey, if you're going to put some duct tape on it and get back on the water, that's all to you. I'm, I'm happy for you. I would do the same thing if I was out of some beautiful area, try to get it to go. But there are sacrifices and those things can blow out on you. We really appreciate you looking at the video. Like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. We really appreciate it. It helps us out in keeping these videos coming. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at FixMyKite.com and uh, wing, uh, FixMyWing.com. Let us know.